Bihar 2007 a night drive from Patna to Khagadia district on a field visit for Argyam's work on water our host Prem Kumar Verma from our local CSO partner Samata on what turned out to be a most memorable ride Prem ji as people called him shared his core understanding of contemporary India and the power shift that have taken place over decades across Samaj Sarkar and Bazaar His perspective had a profound effect on me and it reaffirmed my belief in an invested samaj as the foundation for a just society. Namaskar. I am Rohini Nilekani, chairperson of Rohini Nilekani Philanthropies. Over the decades as a journalist, writer and philanthropist, I've spoken to and learned from some of our country's greatest leaders of social change. I went to the Bihar family in 1965. The war was the Bangladesh war, 1971, where I was asked to go and look after the refugees. And that was out of sheer curiosity because I didn't know what Bharat was like. People who've dedicated their lives to demonstrating moral leadership, building institutions, leading social movements, and whose work has been instrumental in strengthening the fabric of indian society our samaj they always had this desire to go back to india and work in the forests of india i would have been ashamed if i had done nothing these men and women are part of the larger tapestry of india of ordinary people who dared to dream big of audacious social change and remained unwavering in their commitment to democracy equity inclusion and justice thousands of us women there but women working and fighting for rights and uh, understanding wages and understanding sexual assault on the body the three of us went and did some surveys of starvation deaths and what is happening there what better word for samaj can you get than cooperative cooperation as community each of these leaders bring to their work diverse belief systems that span a range of political philosophies from that of Gandhi and Vivekananda to Karl Marx or even Adam Smith and it is that diversity of inspiration that has made for such a vibrant civil society in India a passion to do selfless work to reach the unreached uh, save lives came from Swami Vivekananda and Gandhi Gandhi ji said the first thing you have to do is to listen but to listen that person has to have enough respect for you to consider you worth the listening their lives are a study of selfless dedication to societal goals whether it is about improving access to justice expanding rights increasing public finance making entire villages energy self sufficient or changing policy around financial inclusion or the right to information we the people Oh a debt of gratitude to them and their work. And he looked at me and at that time I was a bit younger and he said young man you can either make money or do good you can't do both. As you teach women how to sew why can't you teach them skills of literacy you can teach them skills of what we call logical art, political articulation why can't we teach them that After all our samaj is a living thing ever evolving and as we carry on the work to strengthen our resilience in the face of great complexity and change these are some of the people whose lives and journeys we can turn to for inspiration but what are their stories how did they come to this path what events shaped their perspectives who influenced their choices we find out how they remained so committed to the underserved population at the first mile no matter what they did i packed up my bags again and went off to goa and became a hippie and I had a great time and then I got a call from the prime minister's office saying I thought you were going to start this thing up so I decided to come back and we started it up their narratives are powerful and I have seen and shared with you firsthand how such stories can shift our perceptions I do hope this series the first season of which we are launching now grassroots nation will inspire generations to come to continue the work needed to fulfill the potential of the billion and a half people in this beloved country dhanyawad and namaskar grassroots nation is a new podcast series from rohini nilekani philanthropies 
in which we deep dive into the life, work and guiding philosophies of some of the country's greatest leaders. Part personal narrative, part oral history, each episode gives you a chance to revisit watershed moments in India's past through the eyes of the country's social architects and find out how they were the catalyst for their life's calling.